Scouts, I'm Heather. And I'm Julia. And welcome to the Girl Talk Weekly, our new vlog where we'll be talking about exciting things happening in our council. And if you aren't a Girl Scout member, no worries. These vlogs will give you a sneak peek into what being a Girl Scout is all about. And if you're interested in joining a troop, there's a link below with details. We would love to have you as our sister in Girl Scouts. We'll be posting a new vlog every week, so hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss out. We have a great show planned to kick off things today. We have some council news to share. We'll be talking to Sarah Triplett and some of the horses live at Misty Meadows Ranch. We'll also talk to Gold Award Girl Scout, Amelia Schubert and how she's supporting our community during COVID-19. It's so amazing to see all the ways Girl Scouts are stepping up to serve right now. It's such a core part of being a Girl Scout. Right, it really is inspiring. Did you see the article, uh, the special edition in the Golden Link Magazine about the Girl Scouts and how they've helped in a major moment in history? Like volunteering as an ambulance driver during World War I. I'll link it below so everybody can check it out. Great idea. And we would love to hear what you all are doing to help out right now. So tell us in the comments. Even if it's just something kind you did with your family, like helping make dinner, every bit of kindness helps. Oh, and I almost forgot. Kathy Elliott, AKA Squiggle, is gonna call in and tell us about some programming you can do from home. First, we have some updates from Council and some news from Girl Scout USA. First up, a cookie update. Congratulations to all of our amazing cookie entrepreneurs who have participated in this year's sale. COVID-19 interrupted what likely could have been a record year for our council, and obviously that was disappointing. It's a hard lesson about what it takes to run a business. Sometimes things don't go as planned, and it's not always easy to do the right thing. But we are so proud of all the girls that have rallied up and to make the most of this situation. And we use it in the opportunity to support our community during this very challenging time. So many of you have sent cookie care packages to local heroes like first responders, doctors, grocery store workers, and other brave individuals helping our community get through this time. The cookie sale ended in on the 26th, but there's still opportunity for you to send cookies to heroes. Ask your troop or your cookie manager about more details. Even if your troop doesn't have cookie inventory to send to local heroes, you can always make them cards with words of encouragement. That would be such a nice uh, gesture. Heather, do you know any more updates for the, for the Girl Scouts? We also have an update on highest awards. To ensure all bridging Girl Scouts who want to earn their highest awards this year have the opportunity, Girl Scouts is offering a three month deadline extension. Usually the deadline is September 30th, but now you have until December 31st to submit your forms. And speaking of gold awards, gold award Girl Scout Amelia Schuper is joining us in a minute to talk about how she's serving the community right now and how you can join her efforts. Should we explain what a gold award Girl Scout is first? Definitely. The Gold Award is the highest award a 9th through 12th grade Girl Scout senior or ambassador can earn. It's a very prestigious award. And part of the criteria is that a girl completes a project that drives a lasting change in her community. The Gold Award can open doors to scholarships, preferred admission tracks for college, and amazing career opportunities. Let us know if you have questions about it in the comments. Let's give Amelia a call and talk about her experience as a Gold Award Girl Scout. Yeah, let's do it. Hello. Hi, Amelia. Hi. Um, so we were just talking about the Gold Award and what it takes to get it. Can you tell us about your project? I would love to. So I love computer programming, but I noticed there aren't a lot of girls in my classes, and that's true nationally as well. Only 18% of computer science, scientists are women. So I taught an awesome group of at-risk girls in my community some of the basics of programming in Python and C++ to give them some of that early exposure in computer science to encourage them to overcome that divide. Wow, that's amazing. And as a Gold Award Girl Scout, you really wanted to help your community during COVID-19. Is that right? 
Yes, so you hear on the news about this huge shortage of masks for doctors and nurses and even regular people when local governments have started asking people to wear masks whenever they go outside. So I learned how to sew in Girl Scouts, so I thought I can sew fabric masks and I was able to donate them to an awesome program Joanne Fabrics is running. I also made a video to help others sew masks. It's a re it was a really fun and easy way to give back to my community during this difficult time. That is really awesome. And if you, if other girls want to get involved and get a part, be a part of the community, what can they do? I chose to give back to my community by donating masks, but there are tons of ways Girl Scouts can give back during this time. I know my Gold Award Girl Scout sisters have found different ways of becoming engaged, like small acts of kindness or donating blood. There are various ways to get involved and give back during this time, all while maintaining social distancing. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It was awesome talking to you today. Thank you. Bye, Amelia. Bye. Bye. Oh, wow. It's so great to see so many of our Girl Scouts getting involved with their community, especially when they're needed the most. Being an active member of our community is really what Girl Scouts is all about. Mm -hmm. We encourage everyone, not just Girl Scouts, to find ways that they can give back to their neighborhood and community with parental guidance and supervision. Exactly. Making masks or, or delivering cookies are great ideas, but like we mentioned earlier, even something as simple as writing a note to say thank you to a, to a local hero is a wonderful gesture. There are so many people working bravely to support their communities. The way we support our communities is one of my favorite parts about being a Girl Scout. Me too. But do you know what else I love? What's that? I love camp. Oh, <laughs> me too. And I bet you all do too. Should we check in on the horses at Misty Meadows? Let's call Sarah Triplett and see how the horses are doing. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're here at Misty Meadows Ranch. I'm standing with Sam. And we are just getting our horses, making sure they're ready for our girls to come back to camp and go for a ride. So I'm here with our farrier, making sure we're getting their feet taken care of and getting them trimmed up and ready to go. I also am here with Champ, who is getting his new shoes put on. And if you come out, you might get to ride one of these guys on the trail. You can also keep up with our horses right now on Instagram. They are becoming stars and we are trying to post about once a week, making sure they get some screen time and they can visit their girls virtually. So we hope we can see you guys again soon. Bye, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Ah, thanks, Sarah. We're just so happy to have someone like you still tending to our beloved animals at camp. Thank you so much for everything that you do. If you have any questions about our horses or for Sarah, be sure to comment below and next week we'll get back to you. If you have any pictures of Sam, our champ, or any of the other horses at Misty Meadows Ranch, we'd love for you to show them to everyone on next week's show. So please email them to us here, right here. And while school and other activities may be canceled right now, Girl Scouts is not canceled. We are here, we are strong, together. I'm really happy that even through these current times, that there's tons of activities that we can still do with our friends and family all through virtual meetings. And Girl Scouts can still earn badges with our Girl Scouting from Home videos. There are badge videos for Girl Scouts of every level and so many activities for you to do all from the comfort of your own home. Even if you aren't a member, you can take part in these activities and get a feel of what Girl Scouting is all about. Do you know who can tell us more about Girl Scouting from home? Squiggles, let's give her a call. Hi Squiggles. Hey Squiggles. Oh, hey, Girl Scouts. You just caught me in the middle of eating a s'more. S'mores? How do you make s'mores without a fire? You know what? Let me show you. 
Hey Girl Scouts, I'm Kathy Elliott with Girl Scouts of San Jacinto Council and I am here to tell you that just because we can't be around a bonfire right now, that is no reason that we can't have some wars at home. All right, come on, let's go. All right, so all you need is a microwave safe plate, some graham crackers, marshmallows, and a chocolate bar. I'm gonna take two graham crackers and lay them down on my plate. I'm gonna take one fourth of a chocolate bar and put it on top of the graham cracker and one marshmallow goes on top of the chocolate bar. And now we're gonna to go to the microwave. All right, 20 seconds in the microwave and that's gonna do it. Yum! Now you can't earn a badge for making s'mores, but there are so many different activities and videos we have where you can earn a badge. If you're a Girl Scout looking to earn badges from home, be sure to visit our website with a parent and look for our Girl Scouting from Home programs. Here you'll find video activities and worksheets that you can do at home to earn badges, to have fun, and to learn so many new things. I can't wait to check that out. Thanks, Squiggles. No problem. Oh, hey, I think my next s'mores are almost done. You guys take care, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Squiggles. Wow, Squiggles is amazing. She's so innovative and is always dedicating her time to volunteer. Speaking of great volunteers like Squiggles, last week was a volunteer appreciation week. Girl Scouts from all over the concert had some great messages for our volunteers. Let's check some of those out. Thank you from Daisy Troop 143153. Thank you for Girl Scout. <laughs> Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Thank you, Girl Scout volunteers. We love you. Thank you, Girl Scout volunteers. Thank you. A huge thank you for all of our volunteers and everyone for the Girl Scouts of San Jacinto Council. Thank you volunteers for everything you do in making Girl Scouts a reality for our girls. If you didn't get a chance last week, be sure to tell your troop leader thank you for everything that they do. Well, I think that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us on our first episode of Girl Talk Weekly. Be sure to subscribe and check in next week for our next episode. We have so many fun things in store for you. I'm Heather. And I'm Julia. See you next week. Bye. Bye.